The most basic method of dimensioning holes is with a diameter. Holes that are dimensioned only with diameters can be created by any process that the machinist desires, as long as the tolerance specifications are met. The view that displays the circular object line is typically the view where the dimension of the hole will be shown. Small holes may be dimensioned with a leader terminating with an arrowhead pointing to the circle. They may be displayed with an internal dimension line that has two arrowheads pointing to the boundary. An extension line will extend from this measurement to an area outside of the hole. May be displayed with an external set of dimension arrows pointing from the outside inward with the dimension value placed at the leader corner. Holes that are concentric to each other may be dimensioned with a combination of these techniques. Concentric means that two objects share the same center, axis, or origin. For example, the smaller hole on this print has internal dimension lines, while the larger hole has external dimension arrows. The holes are concentric because they are located at the same X and Y position on the part. Large holes may contain a diameter dimension inside of the hole if space permits. Holes that appear in a section may also be dimensioned as long as the object lines are available. It is not a good practice to dimension holes in views that display the hole's hidden lines. Beyond the basic dimensioning of a hole, more detail may be added to control the way the hole is to be produced. For example, a requirement may be added to the dimension to indicate that the hole is to be created with a drill. Holes may also require the application of two different methods to achieve the manufacturing requirements. For example, holes may be drilled undersize, then reamed to achieve drafting requirements. Look at the following print to see how these specifications will appear.